Hello out there, fellow vapors. This is Paul Zona coming to you from Hereford, Pennsylvania. With my thoughts about the ban that they're trying to put on e-cigarettes. I read that they're trying to put a ban on e-cigarettes out in California along with the cigarette ban that they already have in effect. Now this is going to affect not only the state of California, and they're also trying to pass legislatures in all states that will ban electronic cigarettes from being used anywhere in the public, including people who rent homes from landlords. Really a bad one, huh? The ban is going to be aimed only to the, this, this is, this video is only aimed to the ones who live in the United States, including the territories and I think the state of, state of Alaska and Hawaii. The legislatures in all states are trying to put a ban on e-cigarettes. Now, why do they want to do that? They think that the, um, they believe that the e-cigarette is a, uh, a dangerous device. And they're going to try and treat it as a, a tobacco product. Now, here's my thoughts of the thing. This is not a tobacco product. As we all know, all us fellow vapors know that these devices are not a tobacco product. They do not have tobacco in them. There is no tobacco in these things. Some of these juices that we use, this is actually a battery. All electronic cigarettes use a battery. Some use power from a USB cable. Some use power from a, uh, a wall power supply using the USB cable called a pass-through. I'm trying to point out, I'm trying to find out why these people want to put a ban on electronic cigarettes. I mean, it is so ridiculous. Here's the reason why I think so. I stopped smoking 28 years ago. I did. I stopped smoking 28 years ago when I had a bad heart attack. It almost killed me. Um, I had triple bypass surgery in 86, and in 1988 I had angioplasty because one of my vessels was uh, closing up. But I haven't touched a cigarette since 1986. Last year, almost to this date, I, I had the urge. I went into a pizza place, and it was attached to a bar, and it had this wide eight-foot doorway between the bar and the pizza place. And all the cigarettes smoked. I mean, they allow bars to have smoking in them, right? Pipes, cigars, cigarettes, and I, I imagine these cigarettes too, <laughs> of course. So, um, anyway, all this smoke is drifting into this pizza place from the bar. Because in the pizza place, there's no smoking allowed. And they had uh, they had a small sign on the wall that says, no smoking, nishlauken, whatever. And <laughs> the smoke is drifting in from the... Um, the bar, it's always, it always does. Every time I go in there, it does the same thing. So how can they get away with this thing? I don't know. Um, what I'm trying to say is, like, uh, I, 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 I had the craving for a cigarette. I didn't, I didn't have any cigarettes. I didn't buy any cigarettes. I don't use them. But I had the craving for a cigarette because I smelled the smoke in there. They finally got to me, right? I, I, I bummed the cigarette from this one dude, one, this one guy. And as soon as I, as soon as I lit up and took an inhale, I started coughing. I, I said, oh, I'm coughing my, my, my butt off, right? And I took another drag and inhale, and the next thing I knew was on the floor. <laughs> I actually landed on the floor in my butt. It's, it made me almost, just made me just, just go out for a second. Just for a split second, I was down, I was, I was down on the floor, and I woke up, right? I, I was awake when, when I, when I hit the floor. And I, I said, no, no more of those things. Well, a week later, I did the same thing. I, I went out and I bummed a cigarette from somebody else. And this time I smoked it maybe that far. Got, I got down to about that far from the filter. 
And I, I, I said, I can't do this anymore. So what I did is I went out and I purchased an electronic cigarette. Now, and it helped me ever since. I, 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 I upgraded from the one of those little plastic cigarette uh, with the cartridges and made of plastic and all those. I upgraded from that to one of these. This is a variable voltage, variable voltage, variable wattage uh, power supply battery that ha that powers this thing. Now, they want to put a ban on all electronic cigarettes, including these things, any kind of electronic cigarette. Why do they want to do that? There, I'm I'm trying to point. I'm trying to make a point that there are more chemicals. They think that these things are chemically bad for people. The liquid. The the uh, the vapor they think that's smoke. They think it has chemicals in it and all this stuff. There are more chemicals in a cigarette. There are almost three or four thousand types of chemicals that they that they uh, that's put into the cigarette, the paper, and the tobacco, and it creates uh, out of all these mixtures of chemicals, it creates new chemicals in your body, bad ones, carcinogens cancer causing things these will not do that these things burn no there is no smoke residue smoke is a residue that comes from a, something that burns fire glowing flames you know uh, embers and things like this that creates a smoke residue this does not create smoke residue there is no smoking residue because there's nothing burning in here you can't tell the FDA that, and you can't do the. You can't tell these legislative people that because they don't want to hear it. State law givers, state law passers, uh, they want to pass these weird laws about old banning electronic cigarettes because oh, they're dangerous to the public. Um, I just had a discussion. I forgot everything I said. I had a discussion with a friend of mine about it an hour ago, and I forgot everything I said. I'm trying to recreate this thing. Um, there is one particular type of chemical that they use in cigarettes that, that is really dangerous. And, and I don't know the the complete public knows about this, about how aware they are or how dangerous they really are. But you can take, now let's say, let's say you do smoke a cigarette, okay? Now here's something you got to think about. This is this video is aimed towards smokers and towards the ones who use the electronic cigarettes, so that the, that the smoker knows exactly what they're dealing with and uh, what they're giving into their lungs, you know. And it's also aimed to the e-cigarette people to let them know that I'm not against these. I love these things because they're not dangerous. Um, There's one type, particular type of chemical, well, it actually is two or three, but this is the, one of the most, I think, that's dangerous. Uh, it's, it's called potassium nitrate. When you smoke a cigarette, have you ever taken a, when you smoke a cigarette, and you take a, a brand new cigarette, could be a, a filter cigarette, non-filter cigarette, king size, regular size, doesn't matter. Uh, could be old gold, just to feel lucky strike, Marlboro, Winston, Salem, whatever, USA. And you take a smoke, you take one drag, and all of a sudden your telephone rings. You know, oh, we got to put this down. You put it on the end of your table. Now, your table could be wood, it could be formica, it doesn't matter. You can put that cigarette down the end of the uh, on the end of the table, and if you, when you forget about it, you'll, when you come back to get that cigarette, it won't be there, unless it's uh, filtered. You have a piece of, you'll have a filter on the table, but you'll have a nice big, scorch mark on your table about that long because the cigarette will not go out it, it, it will burn up to the end of the table and it will burn onto the table doesn't matter if it's plastic wood or even metal it will burn on that table up to the end of the cigarette if it's a regular cigarette you won't see anything there if it's a filter cigarette you'll see the filter and then that's about it You'll see a whole bunch of ashes there and a bad scar that's on that table. Metal will be burnt. It, it, it might turn to color. Plastic will melt. Wood will burn. 
it will actually leave a black scarch, and it's, and it's hard to get out, and you can't and you can't fix some of these. Why does a cigarette burn on the table? Why? Well, potassium nitrate. When they make cigarettes, this is for the FDA to listen to. This is for the ones around the general public. Almost these people know. When when they make cigarettes in the factories, they spray the when they when the paper companies make the paper for cigarette companies, they spray the paper with potassium nitrate. They actually do. They spray potassium nitrate into the cigarette paper before it's actually dried and rolled up. Okay. And then it's shipped to the cigarette companies. And also in the tobacco companies, where they, where they get the tobacco ready to be get shipped to the cigarette companies to be used for making cigarettes, they're also soaked or sprayed in potassium nitrate and along with a bunch of other chemicals. Potassium nitrate is a, is a crystalline, um, it's a natural crystalline uh, um, chemical compound that's found on the earth, uh, and they use it in making uh, gunpowder, bombs, bullets, uh, a whole bunch of different kinds of explosive devices. It's used for gunpowder because it's one of the main ingredients that actually keeps the thing active, keeps it burning, keeps it, gives you that instant uh, boom, you know, or pop, whatever it is. They even use it in making caps. Would you believe that? They use charcoal, sulfur, and potassium nitrate. That's the three main ingredients to gunpowder. Um, I used to make a lot of that stuff. I used to make this stuff when I was a kid. Uh, out of these chemical sets my dad got me for Christmas. They had little bottles of potassium nitrate and little bottles of sulfur. And then they didn't have charcoal because they knew how dangerous it was. So I went out and I burnt wood and I scraped the charcoal off. And I used to make my own uh, gunpowder and it worked. Anyway, these are some of the deadly chemicals that are in these cigarettes. Okay. Now, why, why doesn't the cigar now? Why doesn't the cigar smell like a cigarette? Well, because cigar tobacco is made in a different process, um, but it's still washed in potassium nitrate. All your chemicals that are ever smoked, except for maybe pipe tobacco, are usually washed or sprayed with um, potassium nitrate. Now, when you in, when a person inhales smoke into their lungs, the lungs turn turn all that smoke and everything into chemicals, and that goes into your bloodstream because you got all that nasty stuff, and nicotine, tars, and other crap. Electronic cigarettes do not have any of that stuff. Electronic cigarettes are safe because they have no burning items in them. Nothing burns in, the cig in electronic cigarettes. The only thing that heats up is a small coil right about here inside that tube. This is called a cardamizer. This thing here has packing in it with a small tube run down the middle. And um, a little tiny coil right about here, inside. And when you push this button, it activates the coil that takes some of that liquid in the packing, turns it into vapor, and pushes it up that tube inside. And this is all the drip tip. This is a but you. This is just takes the place of the filter or the cigarette you put in your mouth. These are not. A um, this is not a device to help you stop smoking. This is the device that helps you wean yourself off of smoking and replace smoking. It's not a cessation tool. It's uh, it's not a patch. It's not chewing gum or gum or whatever. It, it's got no. Some of them have no nicotine. Some do have nicotine. It all depends on how you make the liquid. Here's another thing: is for the FDA to understand too. The liquids that I use, the liquids that I use, and some companies use them to make their uh, flavored uh, juice, what we call e-juices, e-liquids, 
how they make them. Some people use what they call a VG base. It's all VG based. It's vegetable glycerin. Glycerin is a product that is used on the skin as a, a skin softener. Uh, it's also used as a food product in making cough drops. People, people, a lot of people don't know that. Klein Brothers, at one time, I think they still do. They they use glycerin as a base for making little tiny tub shaped um, cough drops. My dad used to buy these when I was a little boy, and he still make my thing. And they make other things out of glycerin, right? Other things, soap, and they also make food product things out of glycerin. You read the bottles in the bottles of some of these uh, things on your, um, in your in your spice cabinet might have glycerin in them. Anyway, that's what this is. This this juice that I have in here is made basically out of VG. It is all VG. I I made my own. I make my own juices. I don't use PG, which is what a real chemical. It's called PG propylene glycol. Propylene glycol is a chemical that's used in making antifreeze, among other things. It's also used for medicines, which is uh, and also food products. Um. I make my own liquids. This is not dangerous. There's no tobacco, no burning, nothing. So this is for the FDA and for all the legislatures, people in the, in the bill passers out there in the United States that want to see this video. Um, I make my own. The, the stuff inside here I have, I call it root beer barrel. Okay? It's made out of glycerin and distilled water and, and a flavor called root beer. Root beer. And when it burns, it burn, it creates a water vapor that's only I can taste. The people out there, there are no, there's no secondhand smoke coming out of this thing. No secondhand smoke coming out of your lungs. It's water vapor. I shall show you how this works. Watch. This one, you have to push the button to activate it. Okay? Push this button. Put it in your mouth. There. Why wasn't it in my mouth before? Because it was in my lungs. Now it's out. This is water vapor. And it tastes like root beer. There's nothing dangerous, no tobacco, no nicotine, nothing. This is one of the many, many, many things that you can do with the electronic cigarettes that you can't do with a cigarette. You can still get the same enjoyment of them as a cigarette because it's got the tip, which is actually be like the filter. It's got this part here, this cardamizer, or you can use a tank, the small round thing, clear, and you can fill it with a liquid. It'll last you for maybe a week, two weeks. It all depends on how much you vape. And this is the power supply, the battery, as you see on these little cigarettes, the little batteries. Well, this is a bigger, more modular. This is called a mod. Same thing. This is an electronic cigarette, and you can also use it as a pipe. It's very enjoyable. This is an electronic cigarette, you can also use it as a pipe. You hold it this way. It's a cigar. It all depends on what kind of flavors you put in here and how you want it to taste. You can actually buy juices made with VG that have a cigar flavor, just like Cohiba or like Dutch Masters or whatever flavor, uh, if you can still find them, whatever flavor cigars that you can find. And they also sell pipe tobacco flavors. These are flavors, just flavors. And the cigarette flavors, they have Marlboro, Winston, Salem's, uh, you name it, just about anything. Kent's, they got it. Right, it's out there, but different companies sell different products. Okay, it's different different uh, websites and different places sell different name brand uh, uh, liquids. I'm trying to I'm trying to I'm, I'm trying to pinpoint how not dangerous these things are to the FDA and to the legislation people out there. You're taking away something that will actually replace a cigarette for a person. This is my this is my size. 
This is the way I, this is the thing I found that I really liked. This can be used different, different, this can be used with different devices, it can be used with different size devices. This has a 510 Ego connector, which is, Ego is another electronic cigarette company, which is a very good one. Um, and they have different attachments for it. So you need vape, vape in many different ways that you want to. And um, I don't understand why the FDA and the legislature want to ban these things, keep them from the the hands of the people who want to stop smoking. A lot of people are look, starting to look into these things as a replacement for the actual cigarette so they can get healthier, be healthier, get away from cancer-causing devices. Cigarettes are one of the worst things you can have on the market for causing cancer, especially lung cancer. Look what it did to John Wayne. Look what it did to Yul Brynner. They died of lung cancer, among other many actors and actresses. And entertainers died of lung cancer because of smoking, heavy smoking throughout their life. A lot of this, a lot of this happens every day. You, you read about thousands of people dying all every year because of lung cancer caused by cigarettes, cigars, maybe not so much with pipes, but basically cigarettes and maybe cigars. But this takes the place of it. This is an electronic cigarette, my friends out there in FDA and legislative people and bill passers. This is an electronic cigarette modular type. They have different styles, different versions, different variations of this thing, but they all work the same. They even have uh, electronic pipes out there, but they all work the same. They use a battery, a liquid, some sort of a heating coil, a little tiny, little tiny, 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 tiny heating coil, and a drip tip or mouthpiece. It's supposed to take the place of real smoking for people. A lot of people, they want to stay on smoking because, oh, I'm so used to this. I got used to it all my life. I, I'm, I can go, I'm going to die with it. That's the kind of mentality that does put a person to the grave. I'm trying to see people not die so young, not die because of cancer or whatever. Let them, have a, let them live a healthy life. I seen that message on the on the email. I got an email from a certain company telling me that they're going to pass a law in California. I think that's kind of stupid, it really is. And now they're going to try and do this with every state in the United States, including Alaska and Hawaii, and maybe some of the territories. I can't see that. So anybody out there, the FDA never really made a test on these things. The FDA, excuse me, sorry for the finger. The FDA never really made any really complete tests on these electronic cigarettes. They want to they want to keep these things uh, banned and listed as a tobacco product. Well, it's not a tobacco product. Electronic cigarettes are not electronic uh, uh, tobacco. They're not tobacco products. I'm trying to say. And now legislature wants to try and pass these a, as a tobacco product also. Why? Here's my statement. This is my, my thoughts. Um, maybe out there, and all you people out there, my thoughts are that, that certain people have, the tobacco companies, I'm not going to mention names, the tobacco companies have some of these legislatures and some of these bill passers and some of these FDA people stuck in their back pocket and they're they're paid not to pass not to um allow cigarettes e cigarettes they want to try and get them off the market and they're paid to actually tell them the public that e cigarettes are tobacco products and they're dangerous and blah 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 and then they want to get them off the market so the people stay on cigarettes. That's what the tobacco companies want. This is my point of view. And I think that's wrong. So. In fact, on my sister, 
For instance, my sister was on cigarettes up until about uh, eight months ago. I bought her one of these cheap electronic cigarettes made of plant, the, the small batteries, little plastic hard cartridges. And she had a ball making these things. She used, I gave her a bottle of glycerin. I gave her a small bottle of distilled water. And I gave her, I got her some um, four or five, maybe six different flavors. Root beer, cherry, strawberry, spearmint, wintermint, and menthol. And I said, make your own. I'll show you how to do it. So she did. And she stopped smoking eight months ago, if you go to this. And she still, well, she stopped, she stopped, now she stopped smoking the uh, electronic cigarettes because she couldn't afford the money anymore for the, for the juices. I said, Miriam, I said, Mim, I said, there's nothing wrong with the, uh, the, the uh, I'll buy it. It's not that expensive. But you pay for the juices and you mix up yourself, you can save a lot of money over one pack of cigarettes. One pack of cigarettes lasts you one day, maybe two days. One bottle of liquid, and when you make it yourself, it'll last you for one or two weeks. And it's going to cost you less than two, three dollars. Right? So anyway, she went, she stopped smoking anyway. She stopped vaping. She stopped vaping on the electronic cigarette. So now she wants to get back into this gun because she saw me using mine. She loved it. She's thinking about going. I, t I said, you aren't thinking about going back to smoking, are you? She says, um, yeah, because I got smokers across the hall. And I said, don't do this. I'll get you one of these. She said, no, no, no. I said, I'll do it. I'll get you. I'll get, and she says, if you get me one, don't get it so big. I said, okay. Now I'm on the verge of looking around for a nice cigarette for her, e-cigarette, and um, keep her off of regular cigarettes. Now... Here's something else, too. The FDA approved a thing called the nicotine patch years ago. Okay. People smoke cigarettes, and also nicotine, gum, chewing gum, bubble gum, whatever, and a few other things, shots, nicotine replacement shots that people get from the doctor's offices or maybe at home. But... They only last so long. The nicotine content in those patches and the, and the bubble gum, fine, you can do this, but it's going to cost you for the patches and it's going to cost you for the gum and it's very expensive over and over and over again. But some people don't even pay any attention to those things. They still smoke. They override the use of the freaking uh, uh, nicotine patch. They override the use of the nicotine gum that's been passed by the FDA as in the as a as a smoking tool to stop smoking, mm hmm Yeah, but as soon as they get off those patches, because they still have the nicotine urge from the patch, or as soon as they get off this, uh, as soon as they get off the nicotine gum, they still have the urge with all that nicotine in them from the nicotine gum. As soon as they get off one of those two, they go right back to smoking. To get that nicotine and they and to, to make their lungs feel good again. To make the body feel because because they have to have that smoke in their lungs to really make them feel good. Be a man. I'm talking about a 17 year old boy now. Be a man. Some kids smoke cigarettes. I started at 15, and I stopped 28 years ago. I was 42 when I had my heart attack. So these. Uh, these electronic cigarettes are actually a replacement for a real cigarette because they have the, it gives you the, something to hold in your hand. Something to hold in your, I hold mine like this when I vape. I hold mine like this when I use it as a cigar. I use it like that as a cigar. And I use it the other way as a pipe, like this. Now, either way, because I, I like to smoke pipes like this. I used to smoke pipes, I used to smoke cigars, I used to smoke cigarettes. And this takes the place of each one of those devices. I don't miss this. I don't miss the nicotine because I haven't used nicotine in 28 years. When I, uh, the stuff I'm making here has no nicotine. It's got no carcinogens, no chemicals, no cancer-causing uh, items in it whatsoever. 
So I don't understand why the FDA doesn't actually go do a deep investigation into these things, the electronic cigarette, and some of the and some of the liquid that you make for them. The electronic cigarette is just a battery device. This is not really, um, this is not the battery device on an electronic cigarette is not really the cigarette. Okay, it's just a power supply. It shouldn't actually be regulated by the FDA anyway. It's just a battery, power supply, the battery. The drip tip, the tip of the, the electronic cigarette, is plastic. Made of, some made of wood, some made of plastic, some made of aluminum, some made of stainless steel. Uh, but it's only a tip. That should not be regulated by the FDA because it's not actually a dangerous chemical or in- intake of a food or item or anything like that. The cardamizer or the tank or the atomizer is not a food product. The only thing that should be cons- looked at is the liquids that they use in making the electronic cigarettes and what they people can use in their filling of the cartomizers when they refill them and make their own. That particular, that's what they call it, that would be looked at by the FDA. And I guarantee you they will not find any harmful items in there, in the liquids. Depending on the company that makes the liquids, you will not find any dangerous chemicals. In fact, any of the liquids, you will not find any dangerous chemicals in there. The only thing you're going to find in some of them is different variations of strengths of nicotine. That's it. Nothing else. I use, like I said before, I use glycerin. It's called VG, vegetable glycerin. You can buy it in Rite Aid. You can buy it in Walmart. You can buy it in different stores right off the shelf. Four dollars a pop. Four dollars. Big bottle. Four bucks. And it'll last you for seven months. At least six or seven months. Maybe more. Because you only need a little bit of that stuff. It's real thick. Okay, and the legislatures, the only reason the legislatures want to pass this thing is is because somebody's asking them to, you know. The pocket stuffers are asking them to. Mm-hmm. What do you think? I think so. I think that's the only reason that these legislation people want to pass this bill to get these things banned. These are not dangerous. If they, if they, If they don't pass these things... If they don't ban these things in public places, what I think they should do is that every 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 for every cigarette that's sold, for every electronic cigarette that's packed up and sold, what they should do is have a little card about the size of a business card made of plastic for people to show other people stating this is not a real cigarette, this is an electronic cigarette completely safe, harmless to anybody around. There's no secondhand smoke. It's only water vapor, something like that. And they would show the managers of uh, restaurants or whatever they go, and they won't be banned. They wouldn't be banned in cigarettes. I mean, in, yeah, cigarettes. <laughs> they wouldn't be banned in restaurants, hospital lobbies, and places like doctor's offices and nothing like this because it's electronic cigarettes. Legislation shouldn't be allowed to pass these. Shouldn't shouldn't be allowed to pass the ban on the electronic cigarettes because it is not a tobacco product. Okay, that's about it. That's as as much as I can think of. This is this is my point of view. This is my point of view for everybody out there in in the United States. This is aimed toward the ones in the United States about the banning, the the, uh, supposedly banning, which was they're trying to do, of the electronic cigarette throughout the United States, and first of all, California, and then the most likely throughout the United States, and then also probably maybe the territories and Alaska and Hawaii. This is what they want to do. They want to ban the electronic cigarettes. Well, let's, let's not let them do that. If you know your state senator and your state um, representative, write to him. Write to him and have him look into this matter because electronic cigarettes are not a tobacco product and they're not 
dangerous. They are not a, uh, they are not a no smuggling cessation. To, they are a, they are a cessation. No, wait a minute. They are not a cessation tool. They are a device that helps you replace and mimic a cigarette. Okay. That's about as far as I can take it on this. I couldn't remember the actual thing I was talking to my friend about. It was a little bit better than this, but uh, I couldn't remember it. Uh, I should have I should have recorded that conversation with him. Well, that's quite all right. I hope people out there understand this and enjoy enjoyed this video that I made about my point of view on the uh, the banning of electronic cigarettes and my explanation of how they work and what kind of dangers there are in uh, real cigarettes over the electronic cigarettes. Because I really don't think they should ban these electronic cigarettes. There's nothing harmful about these. There you got it. My point of view on Paul Zona from Hereford, Pennsylvania. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have any comments or anything whatsoever, just don't, don't hesitate to do that, okay? Thank you very much for listening and watching. Bye-bye.